Hello. This is the Basan Darkashom. Never sailed here before. And I'm here with a group of other boats, so uh, I don't need to worry about anything. I'll just follow the rest of them. The Basan Darkashom is halfway down the Atlantic coast of France, just south of Bordeaux. We launched our boats at La Teche, an old oyster port in the extreme southeastern corner of the Bassin. Then we tacked and rowed down the river into the Bassin itself. It's extraordinary the Bassin d'Arcachon. So far it's like a mixture of the Norfolk Broads and the New Forest, surrounded by deep, deep woodland and scrubland, which is what makes it New Forest-like. And then you've got all these channels winding between the reeds, marked by posts. It makes it very Norfolk Broads-like, quite remarkable. Not really what I expected. Expected something muddier and hotter, but then <laughs> it's not so hot today <laughs> and it may get muddier later on. This is approaching Ordenge, where we're stopping for the night. Hopefully going to arrive before it starts raining and I can get I can get the tent up. That's my aim. So all over the beach, people are putting up their boat tents, look. I seem to be the only one who's landed in a patch of mud, though. This can happen, we're being honest now. So, um, yeah, I've kept a bucket of water on board so I can wash my feet. Mission pain, love me insane. Flowers and chocolate in a color that matches my bonnet. Oh, no, it's not a test, only the best. So we speak of French cuisine. Whatever you may have heard, 
what happens nowadays is that you're invited to an apero and then the evening passes and all everyone did, does is drink and eat nibbles and you might think that eventually you're going to eat something solid no no you're going to end up dancing on the beach and not eating, eating not eating anything solid. Six AM Early start. Oh. Oh. Got by. T-shirt on. Special t-shirts. So it's an early and rapid breakfast. Then off to the Ile des Oiseaux. That's the plan that we need to get off this beach as the, uh, the tide's now going down again. Such, a, such an arduous business, this dinghy cruising. We're opening the lid on it this time. It's all about ropes. Ropes everywhere. Too many ropes. Oui, mais euh, le, le marais descend, n'est-ce pas? It's um, half past seven. We stopped for lunch in a little creek on the Ile aux Oiseaux beside two cabins perched on stilts. to the northwestern corner of the Bassan and it grew more and more overcast as the day went on.
camembert. Yet another early morning start was required to get us off the beach and into the deeper water. o'clock in the morning and the wind has just picked up. This is the extraordinary thing. The water is warm. You trail your foot in the water and it's warm. lunch on a beach near the entrance to the Bassan, hard by an oyster farm. If you continue south from the beach where we stopped for lunch, the Bassan eventually opens out into the open sea. And so I sail down a little way with a few of the other boats in the fleet to see what the Bay of Biscay looked like. There's a huge range of dunes that carries on right down the Atlantic coast of France like mountains which can be seen in front of me here as I jibe around and return back into the Bassin. In the centre of the Bassin, the Ile aux Oiseaux is surrounded by a deep belt of shoals marked by posts and covered in oyster beds. And at the centre of this area, the island itself has a series of little settlements of temporary cabins for people working in the oyster industry or their relatives. We anchored alongside one of these little communities of huts, but in asking ashore we were told it would be a good idea to sail back around the little island and go in again and actually moor up in the little harbour in front of the line of huts. So that's what we did.
The people in the huts were really welcoming, charmed to find us there in little sailing boats and allowed us to use their tables for our evening meal. Bad weather was forecast for the last day of the raid, so we decided to cut it short when we arrived at Laun. decided to make a dash back to La Teche that very evening in a rising wind so we could get back to our cars and trailers. Ooh. In the fierce jibe into the river, part of my mainsail became detached from its reef as can be seen. Absolutely was the thing to do. That's why I just said yes. There wasn't any arguing from me, you might have noticed. What a blast. I love this stuff. Coming it, in like this. That was excellent, yeah, yeah. The wind hissed over the reed tops as we sailed up the river. Hey, we've got time to haul the boats out, don't you think? If this sailor would decide which side it wants to be on. Sorry? Beach or the harbour? Oh, um, well, um, don't we, we be, well, I think we go straight to the slipway, don't we? Okay, you want to be on that side. Mm -hmm. right. No, you don't want to be on that side. <laughs> 